To win the title, Fittest on Earth, athletes need to be ready for anything. They can be asked to run, swim, climb a rope, lift weight overhead, bike, have body awareness, and put it all together in one workout. This series follows elite athletes through a qualifying round to earn a spot to the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games. Smell it. So what, what is this? It's just um, like a cough medicine. Okay. So what's going on here, Hebert? I don't have a voice. <laughs> I've been trying to whisper all morning. <laughs> So I can save my voice for the video. <laughs> this, is, this is a true story. <laughs> and so Sarah has been kind enough to give me some sort of Nordic black juice. Yeah. Nordic titty drops. Is what it's called. I think you're saying Nordic titty drops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I must be Norwegian women are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm burnt. Now we're in London and I'm competing in strength and depth. I started my first competition in Dubai in December. I had no idea where I was and how I would be in competition. Sigmund's daughter will finish in first in event number one. And oh that God. is good for Sigmund's daughter. I made a few mistakes, so I wasn't really happy with the placement there. Then I went to Miami. Sarah Sigmund's daughter is still holding on to that second place position. Crowd on their feet. Sarah Sigmund's daughter. I felt that I got my like mojo and flow back there. Going into strength and depth, I think she was like determined and ready to win that whole thing. This is where I expect to see Sarah Sigmund's daughter shine and earn her spot to the CrossFit Games. And I'm hoping that I won't be as clumsy as I've always been and, and hopefully won't make any mistakes and that competition will go pretty smoothly. Do you like representing like the daughter thing? Yeah, of course. My last one. Yeah. What does that cool. What does that mean to you? I think we've just uh, made that daughter uh, almost like a, a strong, strong. Do you say concept or? Yeah, strong concept. Like now, people in uh, Sweden and America and everybody is adding daughter to their to the end of their name because it's so strong. So I think. It's pretty cool to be one of one of the girls that started that. All the athletes here are trying to get a spot to the CrossFit Games. That's probably the biggest goal at this point. Workout one was also the CrossFit Games Open 19.1, which means that it's the first workout of the CrossFit Games Open. 19.1, 15 minutes. They announced it the night before, so the athletes didn't really do it. Oh, balls are growing. Well, balls are growing. Oh, Usually athletes are doing this at home, in their own gym, setting up the best possible environment that they can, where they can control everything. This was kind of their shot to get the best score possible before competing all weekend, where they probably wouldn't get a chance to repeat the workout. This workout is catered to you. You pick your setup. You've got two lanes to work with. When you get out on the floor, work with your judge. Make sure it's how you want it to be, just like you were at, at home, all right? Any questions? We have got some superstars in this heat. We cannot, cannot wait for this one. In lane number six, it's Sarah Sigmund's daughter. It looks like she's in a good place, and when Sarah Sigmund's daughter is in a good place, it's rough. I love competing. It drives me in training, and so I think it, it gives me more to have something to look forward to. There are so many great athletes on the floor. Sarah is here to make a point. This is what I've been looking forward to. She's looking incredibly strong on the erg. She seems to be the height of efficiency right now. She knew exactly what pace to keep. She kept her technique pure, and that has gotten her to the position she's in right now, which is a solid heat win. She wins it at this event, takes six worldwide, and that set her up in over the next five weeks to go on and win the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games Open. You've always done so many Opens, but it's always been in the comfort of your yeah. own box. How, how different was it being out on the floor in a competitive environment? Uh, I loved it. Hearing the crowd scream and using the adrenaline from the crowd is just amazing. It's 
the reason why I'm competing here, I love it. After each workout, we just uh, do something called processing. We just process what we did, what happened. Just get some general thoughts on, on board and just basically just a, a record for later. So we got something to use in our in our training and our later in the gym and what we're going to practice. So it's, emotions are quite raw now, so it's a good time just to get them, some of them out on paper. Where is the open score in your relation to everyone else in the world? As I'm reading it online, it seems like she's uh, first at the moment. Is she not? No. Where is she not? Oh, there's no reason to. I think it can only do your best. You have a plan, you stick to the plan, you follow the strategy, you follow what's in front of you, and it's a lot about like your personal pride yourself. If the leaderboard puts more pressure on than you put on yourself, you have a problem. You can have all the fans in the world, all the pressure in the world. It's not it's a tenth of the pressure you put on yourself to perform every day. And we are go. We saw how good Sarah Sigmund Slotter was in that first workout. She's back here again. Oh, smooth transition by Sarah right there. I think she's going to do very, very well. That being said, I think she's going to find herself challenged by both Jamie Green and Thuri Helga Nokia as well. So Jamie Green in lane 10, Sara Sigmund's daughter in lane 11, and Danny Spiegel in lane 6. Jamie Green has done 10.45. What an effort from her. And Sarah Sigmundsdottir has done a terrific job of catching up. Sarah has come back so strong. Being second in a bar most of it has so far, got it. So that's a huge win. That hurt a lot more than I thought it was, but it was fun. It was a good one. It's early in the weekend, but that event was massive for Sarah. On paper, handstand walk is not great for her, and there are a lot of gymnasts in this heat, and she got second, and, you know, obviously to Jamie, but Jamie's gonna do worse against Sarah in the snatch event. So in terms of them two racing for the final, this was amazing for her. <laughs> do, do you feel like you're over your cold? <coughs> yeah. Cold is just a mindset. <laughs> so I mean, Phil tells me. Yeah. You're, you're not sick, it's just a mindset. Yeah. You're not ill. So my dad has told me since I was little. It's just weakness leaving the body. Exactly. Okay, dad, I'm not sick. So what do you do now? What happens between events? Uh, I try to relax a little bit and eat food. Oh yeah. Getting a new tat. <laughs> Are you jealous? Yeah. Just be happy that I'm not doing this as a tramp step. <laughs> what event's about to happen? Snatch. Lift some tin up. Put it over my head. She has been struggling with a couple of injuries and I'm just so happy to see that girl healthy. Max in snatch. Oh, I can't wait. It's the first time that I went over 85 kilos in Dubai. Like, I can't wait to see what I can do now in competition. In lane five, Sarah Sigmund's daughter. In lane four, Danny Spiegel. Yes! Yeah. Oh, well, nice. how Nicky here. Look at that smile. I think Danny performs anywhere she goes. Oh, <laughs> God. This is going to be interesting to see who gets off the bike first and how much did it cost. I think Sarah, Sarah is just a unbroken. Yeah. Yep. This is the race. It looks like this is Sarah's to take home if she can maintain her pace. Brilliant by Sarah. That's exactly Here we what she needs to do. Here we go. It's the final do. set of five to come. 
Well done to Sarah Sigmund's daughter. She has destroyed that workout. What day is it of the competition? It's the last day, Sunday. How many events are there? Three. Do you know all the events? Yes. How often do you do events like this where you know all the competition? It's not often, it's very rare. We gave out the events what, uh, two, so. yeah, a week ago or something. Did you practice them all? Yeah, but we didn't really get all the details about them, so. We got actually all the details a week ago. I did few of them. No eye contact. Yep. You, I go first. He yep. goes behind. You stay between us. No eye contact. Yep. Keep your head down on the floor, through the door to the lift. Okay. That's good. ever like a workout with burpees and lunges in it, but pretty excited for that one. I think it's gonna be a fight. Our two leaders right now, they're neck and neck and they're next door to each other on the floor. We have a lot of good girls. We have Emma McQuaid, Thurry, uh, Danny Spiegel, we have Jamie Green. I really try not to focus on them. I know what I can do and if I do that, hopefully it's enough. Sorry to say it, but the lead that Sarah just got right now, I don't think anybody's catching her. She just looks like she's got that fire back in her belly. She is done. Yeah. Sarah Sigmund does 16 minutes and 12 seconds. Wow. That has destroyed the winning time from the previous heat. Did I have a poker face all the time? I'm so happy about that. It was good. Hard. It was really hard. What was hard about it? Uh, I just like going back, you know, you have to go a little bit faster. Didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't go faster, but it hurt this much. <laughs> been working hard on being able to think with a high heart rate. That's coming now. Dad 
this point, two events remain at this sanctional. Sarah's got a 32-point lead over Jamie Green Simmons. And it's looking very well. You know, we're judging winning or losing based on what we know we can do rather than what the others are doing. We've got our goals for it and our targets, and I think it's, it's just about being conscious in those decisions and racing our own race. This is the running event. It's always the one I dread. <laughs> but we're feeling good. Uh, I think we're in fourth. Yeah. <laughs> What's the goal? What do you want to do? I'm just going to do my best. Sarah Sixman's daughter is leading the overall rankings. This is right up Sarah's wheelhouse. She's just she's gonna love this. She is the one that should really truly win this event. I think the key is going to be this opening run. It's a little bit unfair in this competition is the weight for girls. The guys have much heavier weights. Like why do the stronger guys get the benefit but not the stronger girls? Sarah is onto the air runner. Jamie Green is not far behind her. Sarah is oh. just going to get it. Wow, what an effort from that. Boy, she knows how to create drama. She does, doesn't <laughs> she? Wow. Another event win for Sarah Sigmund's daughter. She looks like she might be booking her invitation to the games. No, Sarah may not need this. She may be Iceland stronger. She might be in the top 20 come the Open. So it might mean that somebody who's second or third may be able to grab this spot. Push the rub. Five heavy enough. Mate, I should have grabbed the bar properly. Was that what it was? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I grabbed it too much behind instead of front. Yeah. So it always made me lean more forward. Yeah, okay. And I was like, I'm not gonna drop it or fix it until the end when the metal was touching before. I was like, okay. Yeah, now we better do yeah. it. Yeah. This workout right here, the problem is is that your initial strategy that you thought you were going to do earlier in the week may be out the window for 99% of the people because they're just so tired. And so they have to come up with something that maybe is going to change their plan on the fly. You hit your targets, you're quicker than anyone else. Like I've been in this sport now since 2013 and there have been so many ups and downs and when you prove yourself wrong, there's no better feeling. When you think you can't do something and then you just prove that you can. What I love most about CrossFit is that I never give up, no matter what happens. This is it folks, this is the final workout for these ladies. Sarah, it's Sarah. attacking the road. This is what you expect from Sarah Sigma's water. <laughs> neck and neck with Jamie Green, as it's been all weekend, this is going to be a proper race. Like the look at the determination in Sarah Sigmund's daughter's face. This is, this the, is the final round. Look at that. Oh, oh my God. Unbelievable. I can't be back at this place and I'm back. She came here to make a statement and she did that from, from start to finish. The car was behind her. She looks like she was having fun. And this is not just a win here. This is a message to Katrin, to Annie, to Tia. I'm back. I'm here. To Laura, all those girls. So, it doesn't matter. You know, we talked about that. I like this is just as I'm just as proud of you now as I was at what a blues in Dubai and the progress we've made. Yeah. What we've always talked about all the time is the performance. And it's the most complete performance we've made. And the winner of CrossFit Strength and Death 
2019, Sarah Sixman's daughter. I prove myself that I have more control of my mind than, than in anything else. She walked onto the floor knowing that she was going to win all the events. And between events, she just did a lot just to like, you know, calm down and get in her own headspace, talk with her coach, journal. I think that all those little things that she's been working on has really made the difference in, you know, the result that she got this weekend. Going into the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games, she now, after this performance here at London, is an extreme threat to any athlete vying for the title of fittest honor.